Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thanks for joining us again. In this segment, we're going to be speaking with Mr. Dave Marver, CEO of Onward. He's joining us here on the program to talk about what they're doing with both non-invasive and implantable neuromodulation technologies for people with spinal cord injury. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dave Marver. Thank you, Neil. Happy to be here with you. Thanks for joining us. Now, you're the uh, CEO of Onward. Give us a little bit of your background. Talk about uh, what it is that you do and how you became CEO of Onward. Briefly, if you wouldn't, talk about their mission. Sure. Well, I've spent almost 30 years in medical technology. Uh, The early part of my career I spent with Medtronic in a variety of roles in U.S. and Europe. And then I founded a couple of different startups before I had the privilege and opportunity to join Onward in the middle part of last year. Now, what is Onward's mission exactly? Well, our vision is to help people with spinal cord injury Mm -hmm. enjoy life in every way that matters to them. Often when people think of spinal cord injury, they think of paralysis. But people with spinal cord injury have a whole host of other challenges. Could be difficulty breathing or swallowing. Mm -hmm. Uh, They might lose sexual function or the ability to modulate blood pressure. Mm-hmm. And we want to help them in, in all of those ways, leveraging the technology that we're developing. As you said, when many of us think of, of spinal cord injuries, we think of paralysis. And we also think of um, very invasive procedures to at least try and come to some, uh, I guess, some endpoint of treatment so that quality of life can begin. Are you involved in these invasive uh, procedures? And if so, how are you involved in that? And uh, talk about some of the non-invasive procedures that you deal with as well. Well, Neil, often what happens when somebody has a spinal cord injury is they undergo three to six months of intensive physical therapy. Mm -hmm. And thereafter, their progress tends to stop. It tends to plateau. And they're really have not been many options for people that have been chronically injured uh, until now. And spinal cord stimulation, which is the basis of our technology, is something that's showing a lot of promise. We have two different technology platforms, both of which stimulate the spinal cord in a targeted way. One is implantable. It's something that we call ARC-IM. This is like a a pacemaker-type device, an IPG, that is implanted along with a paddle lead on the spinal cord. And by stimulating uh, the spinal cord in this targeted fashion, we've shown that we can help people regain the ability to walk again, Mm -hmm. but also unearth a whole host of other benefits. We also have a non-invasive version of that technology, something called ARC-EX, which just started uh, pivotal trials in the U.S. this month. And we are studying that device's ability to improved upper extremity strength and function in people with spinal cord injury. So we've got two promising technology platforms. They both do the same thing. They stimulate the spinal cord in a, in a targeted way. And both of them actually, Neil, have FDA breakthrough device designation. Now, when you say FDA breakthrough device designation, what exactly does that mean and how does it relate to devices such as yours? Well, the FDA, in an effort to facilitate more innovation in medical technology and to make those innovations available to the public more quickly, more readily, uh, created this breakthrough device program, which allows companies to have uh, additional interaction with the agency, with the regulators, to uh, work together and collaborate with them openly on clinical trial design and so forth. And only devices that are thought to be truly novel and breakthrough enjoy this designation. Uh, It's also very possible, based on recent developments, that breakthrough devices such as ours will enjoy an easier pathway to reimbursement by Medicare. So it's a really good program that the FDA put in place to facilitate innovation. It helps on the regulatory side, but also looks like it's going to begin helping on the reimbursement side. And both of these things are good for 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 people with spinal cord injury. It just helps with access to new and better technologies that that uh, can potentially help these folks. What types of spinal cord injuries or situations lend themselves more readily to the use of your two particular two particular technologies? I mean, we're we talking um, trauma. Or are we talking infection that um, deteriorates tissue? Or or, or are we talking about any type of um, spinal cord injury? 
So the, the, the early clinical work that we're doing is really targeting on, on spinal cord lesions where there's a, some sort of a, a trauma or break or interruption mm -hmm. in the ability of the spinal cord to transmit signals uh, up or down. Having said that, um, you know, we're looking at some other things with our research partners that may be promising for any condition where there might be some interruption of communication between the brain and, and areas further down the spinal cord that are responsible for movement or autonomic control. ARC-X is the, uh, I guess, the, the non-invasive uh, technology that, that we're talking about. Well, the ARC-EX is indeed our, our external or transcutaneous spinal cord stimulation platform. And uh, we've done a number of pilot studies to date, all of which have been quite promising, showing that particularly in the uh, upper extremities, the device can be used to improve strength and function. Uh, and so that's why we are uh, proceeding. We made the investment in conducting the first ever large scale clinical trial of external spinal cord stimulation for this application. And we uh, are going to enroll up to 15 different centers, 65 subjects in the U.S., uh, Canada, the U.K., and the Netherlands. So uh, it's, it's showing a lot of promise, and we're quite excited about that. What's interesting is that uh, when you talk to patients who've had a spinal cord injury, uh, they tend to value restoration of upper extremity strength and function the most. And this is what they really want to regain the ability to, to pick things up, grasp things, feed themselves, just makes them more independent. And, um, and so, uh, you know, here at Onward, we want to do things that can really impact people in a positive way. And if that's what's most important to them, that's the first problem that we want to solve. Have you done any research into different age groups as far as, I guess, the health of the, of the patients being a factor, the health of the age of the patient who's had this injury being uh, receptive to these therapies? Well, the, for the, uh, the ARC-IM therapy, so far we've studied the ability to regain the ability to walk. And for those patients, we studied those uh, who have been uh, chronically injured. Many of them have been injured uh, 10 years or more. Mm -hmm. And so going forward, we want to start looking at the ability of the therapy to help people that have uh, been injured more recently. And they're more likely, we suppose, to respond to the therapy because um, because the injury was more recent, they haven't had as much degradation of muscle tone and function and overall health. Mm -hmm. um, but generally speaking, our research has been done on the adult population, 18 and above, and then in the future, we'll look at, uh, at getting the uh, pediatric indications studied and approved as well. But that, that's not something that we've got in our, our game plan at this point. Well, give us a website where we can uh, get some more information about Onward and about the technologies that you're working on there. Sure, Neil. Our website is onward.com, O-N-W-D.com. And then our, our social channels are all Onward Empowered, O-N-W-D, then the word Empowered all together. So uh, please check us out. We appreciate the interest that you've taken today in Onward, Neil, and our work to uh, help people with spinal cord injury enjoy better lives. Well, I appreciate you joining us on the program. Thank you so much. My pleasure. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dave Marver, CEO of Onward. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download a SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.